Hello, hello. So for this one, I'll show you how to install Debian on your Android and how to start coding on it. I'll try to keep everything brief as simple as possible. So to install Debian, actually all you want is this software called um, GNU Debian. And to coding on your Android, there's actually two ways I can think of. First one is using your laptop keyboard as an input. To do that, you have to install the uh, remote, remote keyboard. And the second way is uh, creating an SSH server on your Debian, on your cell phone. Then you can open PuTTY from your laptop and connect to it and start coding. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's go step by step. So the first thing we want to do is, is install GNU root. So GNU root Debian, because that's we want the Debian system. a while so here it is press install and reinstall and just wait after this finish all you want to do is update it update the system and uh, then you can you can start your software you want And then it's done. Just press, press launch, and here's your system. So what you want to do is update. Nope. Then after update, um, you can install things you want. So we just wait. So, well done. The system is here and it's ready to, you're ready, you can do whatever you want. So, the second part is to s use your laptop keyboard as an input. And to do that, what we want is get removed keyboard, press install. Once it's installed, just press OK. Yes. And from here, you have to set it to remove keyboard. Then you can connect it to it. So on your PC side, just do the telnet and the IP address, like this one. So telnet. Then here, here we go. And from now on, we can actually type from the uh, laptop keyboard. Of course, for this one, you have your laptop and your cell phone have to be in the same Wi-Fi. So not sure if you can hear it, but I'm typing my keyboard. And that's the first way to start coding. And so, as you can see, the typing will definitely be much faster. And what you want to do is have a Vim. And remember, like in Vim, you have to press escape to to do a lot of stuff to escape your current action. But in remove keyboard, you cannot do that because I think it's either Android does not have that key or something. So. What you want to do is map the JJ into the escape. That's the first way. The other way is um, 
it's pretty much the same thing, just copy my configuration file. So after you're done, you can copy my configuration file. So that will be vimrc and vim. Just copy and paste it to the GNU root home. Paste here. Then your vim is ready. Vim CTRLP even have has this one. Um, control C. So to press Control C, actually you can do your volume down and C. See? Yeah. So you can cancel stuff. So quit. And if you want to do like start editing. Just press JJ very fast so you can quit. And that's it. So one more thing you can do about this is like since your cell phone screen is a little bit small, you can use um AirDroid or some screen cast stuff to cast the screen on your phone screen onto your laptop. And the second way so that's this is the one way of coding. The second way is using the SSH server. So what you want to do is want to install the drop bear. Nope. So once you install drop bear, just um, I guess change the port. I'm not sure whether if you if you're not changing it whether it will work or not, but I'm going to change it. There's some error, there's an error, but it's fine. So, what you want to do is change the port. So, so change this one, and press JJ really fast. Close it, and then we can start it. etc and then it's, it's starting and one more thing if you're wondering whether it's actually starting or not you can install the net tool and okay. so you can see the 2020 port is listening so from now you can um, actually use putty so we just open the putty and load your IP for mine is this one because it's local and port is 2022 and yes and also oh, one more step before you're doing this you need to before you're doing this you have to first create a password so So we're logging as root. The password is the one you just created. 
So yeah, from here you can do whatever you want. So cd, you can do apt dot get. Get. You can do whatever you want. But if you want to use vim here, you can. You can yet because I mean you can use vim, but you cannot. You does not have those configuration file here. As you can see, the vim rc is empty. So what you want to do is cp um, home dot vim rc to the current directory and cp vim. Okay, after this, you're good to go. So if you press control P, as you can see, it's actually working. So I will quit. Ah, I'm not sure why it's not working. Okay, it's actually working, just clear. No. Hmm. Anyway, you got your configuration file work here. And I guess I'm going to... Guess I'll just close it. Restart it. So root and the password you give to yourself. So then here it is. So CTRP. It's working. Q. Okay, so for this one, I'm guessing some. Okay, just press escape. Q. There we go. And that's it. That's the second step, second way of coding. So, one more thing, if you're wondering, we can start, um, we can start a local service, local um, HTTP server. So, that is by. because they are all hidden so what you want to do is python simple http server let's see what's wrong hmm. I'm checking the command here. Okay, then the port number. So I'll make it 8080. Oh, the Python is not here. So, okay, what you want to do is upgrade. Because by update, you're actually able to get stuff. By upgrade, you're actually getting stuff. This might take a while because I remember it's it's not very small. that what you should be able to see is this one so if you type the address it should give you these but right now it's not working so I guess we'll wait
So I'm shooting video because just to make sure like if you're doing the same step as I do exactly what I did, you can get the same result. Because I couldn't um, use OpenSSH, I think something might be wrong, I'm not quite sure why. And you can change your time zone here after upgrade, I think. Okay. So I guess we'll just set up the time zone here. America and 37 that's it and now we can do what we did Python start the server oh, it's not working I guess we need to install Python we do okay so I guess you don't need to upgrade to be honest but I mean it's not bad uh, it's not a bad decision it just we wait too long so install Python and then you can set up a file sharing server on your cell phone so let's just wait it's done so here we go so now going back to the uh, desktop here we go boop, boop. so you can download stuff I mean you can upload upload stuff to it but I think there's definitely some some way of doing that so that's it thanks for watching